All right, hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Little Latina, coming at you with another video. And if you can't tell by the title of this video, today you're going to be learning about what is making you bloated and how to prevent any future bloatation. So if that is something that you want to learn, something that you want to know about, I would suggest that you stick around for the rest of this video. But first, you're going to watch my beautiful little intro. Alright, so today I'm going to be giving you six or seven tips on what to do to prevent bloating and what is making you bloating and how you can stop any type of bloating in general. So bloating is something that I personally have struggled with, something that I really hated, something that made me really exhausted, that made me not like how my body looked. And honestly, I thought it was just something that it was like me only, like I was the only one that struggled with bloating. But then I realized that bloating really just came from a few simple things that I was just doing and it is really easy to fix. Now I've gotten a lot of questions in general from some of my TikTok videos, people asking me if I personally got bloated, um, what they can do to prevent bloating. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some little things you can do to help prevent any future bloatation and just really what you're doing that's causing bloating and why it's happening and how you can stop bloating. <laughs> And the first thing that is most likely causing some type of bloating is not chewing your food properly. So this is something that I never actually struggled with. I know how to chew food. I really like to like savor the flavors of food. I like to chew it all the way. But this is something that my dad does. He doesn't really chew his food a lot and he suffers from bloating way more than I do. And he does quite a few of the things I'm gonna be listing on here that you really don't wanna be doing if you want to not be bloated. So chewing your food, why is this bad? Why does this cause bloating? This usually causes bloating because it is a lot harder for your stomach to digest foods when the food you're eating isn't chewed properly so let's say for example you have two little stomachs and one stomach just has a t like an entire apple drop in it and then the other stomach has chewed up apple in it so it's gonna be a lot easier for the stomach with chewed up apple to digest that food because it is a lot smaller digests a lot quicker and you're not gonna be bloated because it's not taking up nearly as much space in your stomach versus the app the, the apple versus the stomach with a non-chewed apple, your stomach's gonna be a lot bloated. It's gonna take a lot longer to digest that food. So it's just recommended that if you want to stop bloating or prevent any type of bloating, just thoroughly chew your food. About 17 to 20 bites is recommended to um, make digestion easier. So if you struggle with chewing food, you can just count in your head for a little bit. But that is personally something that I do not have a problem with, but something that my father has a problem with and you can definitely see when he's bloated what is happening. So the second thing that could be causing some bloatation for you is drinking too much water while you were eating. Now, I'm not saying that you can't drink water while you're eating. All you have to really do is just take small little sips. This is something that I do. Um, I take little sips of water if I'm eating, if I'm really thirsty. And I know for a fact that this used to make me so bloated because I used to like down water while I was eating food and I would realize I was getting really waterlogged and my st it was really hard for me to eat more food because I was just over like filling my stomach with water so I was getting massively bloated from that so I know for a fact that this once I quit doing this my bloating drastically went down so if you have a problem with drinking a lot of water while you're eating food if you're going to drink water just make sure it is in tiny little sips or just wait until after you're eating like at least three to four minutes after you're done eating before you start drinking water again. So then um, it's a lot easier for your stomach to not get bloated. Now the reason drinking water while eating food causes bloatation is because once you're drinking water, it's diluting all those stomach juices and stomach acids that you have in your stomach, therefore making it harder for your stomach to really digest all the food that you're eating. And normally if you're not eating, drinking water goes through your stomach very easily so it's not gonna cause any type of bloatation. But while you're eating, if you're drinking water, that water's gonna get stuck in all that food and it's not really gonna go through your stomach nearly as easily. And that's gonna cause bloatation to happen way more than if you're just eating by itself with no water. So if you really are thirsty, I would just recommend having little sips. Obviously you can drink more like if you're really dying. Like I'm not saying you're not allowed to drink water, but that is something that will cause more bloatation if you are doing that. So 
Just drink a little less water while you're eating and wait till after or before eating to really consume that water. Now, thing number three that could be causing bloatation might not be affecting everybody, but I know for a fact that this was affecting me. This would affect me so much. This caused a lot of bloatation and this caused a lot of issues for me. So food allergies, not everybody will have obviously like I just said, but you could have food allergies to gluten, dairy, like certain vegetables, fruits, whatever it is. For me personally though, I found that I had a large reaction to gluten. So any type of breads, any type of pastas, any type of pastry, those all made me very bloated. And those were all things that I really like to eat. So you can tell that I was not very happy by knowing that these types of foods made me bloated. But there is ways that you can prevent this, you know, you can quit eating those foods or like what I did as I would have gluten-free uh, gluten breads, gluten-free pastas. I actually right now just found this lentil pasta that is so good, it is so amazing. It's made from red lentils and yellow lentils and it is so good. But um, yes, yeah, so you can just not eat those certain food groups. You can still have foods that are similar to that. Like if you have something, if you have like a dairy food reaction, you can just quit having foods with lactose in them and just find lactose free foods. So there's ways to go around that if you really in are enjoying those foods. So I would recommend keeping a food journal or if you're eating something and then you automatically get bloated, try to remember what it is that you were just eating. Keep that in the log and next time you eat those foods, see if you get bloated so then you'll know exactly what it is that is making you bloated. So if you're getting bloated a lot eating certain types of foods, I would recommend starting a food journal so you know exactly what it is that is making you bloated and what to quit eating in order to prevent bloatation in the future. And the fourth thing that could be really causing some bloatation is overeating. Now this one seems pretty obvious, but I don't know if some people are really even aware of this. This happens, you can really tell that overeating causes bloatation on Thanksgiving. <laughs> because I will eat personally a lot of food on Thanksgiving and my stomach will go from like, ah, like really nice and then it's just like it gets really bloated because I am shoving food like shoving food down my face around Thanksgiving so if you want to prevent any type of bloating like that I would definitely say don't be shoving huge amounts of food down your throat but so here's a thing that a lot of people I feel like do that um, want to lose weight or feel like this is going to help them. They'll have less meals throughout the day, but in really large portions because they will be starving. And then they will become bloated because they're eating a huge amount of food in a small amount of time. And then they're going to want to eat less food because they're thinking eating in general is what's making you bloated when that is absolutely not the case because eating is not supposed to make you extremely bloated. Like eating should make you go from like this to maybe like this it shouldn't make you go from this to this that is not what that is supposed to do so if you are a person that likes to eat a lot of food or if you struggle with having a huge amount of food I would say have smaller proportions in like smaller increments so instead of having like I don't know for example let's say you have like three chicken breasts instead of having three chicken breasts all in one meal just have one chicken breast like every other half an hour not half an hour every other hour and a half so you're still eating the same amount but you're not going to be getting nearly as bloated and you're going to be fuller for longer so you're not going to be tempted to go ahead and eat more food at a faster period of time that is going to make you even more bloated and then you're going to think that you need to quit eating food and you need to eat less food when that is simply not the case you just need to have smaller proportions in a evenly spaced time period to prevent bloating so if you struggle with overeating that is a very simple fix that you can do you can still have the same exact amount of food just space it out into smaller proportions really that simple and the fifth thing that could be causing your bloatation is eating too quickly now this is another thing that my dad does he eats very fast and he really doesn't chew at all he just is like he just no chewing it's just like so definitely don't eat too quickly you really want to savor that food really taste all the um seasoning all the flavor in that food 
that could be causing you some bloating if you're eating too quickly. Um, personally, I never struggled with this because I, I'm always the slowest eater in my entire family. If we're going out to dinner or something, I'll always be the last one eating. So I know how to enjoy my food. And plus I take pretty small bites. So it also takes me a lot longer to finish a meal, like just in general. Like no matter where it is, I'll always be the last person eating because I'm very, I'm a very slow eater. So I don't like get bloated from that. I don't get bloated too often. Like I said, I already know what makes me bloated. So once I quit doing those or I started minimizing those types of things, I definitely saw a decrease in my bloating activity. So now the reason eating fast causes bloatation is because you're getting a lot of air into your mouth while you're eating very quickly so that's going to go in your stomach and expand that because all of that air is getting into your beautiful little stomach and it's making it go from this into this because it is getting full of air rather than food and then once you add in that food and if you add in all that water then you're only going to get more bloated so make sure while you're eating that you are really savoring your food that you are taking maybe smaller bites slower bites so you are just going to prevent any type of bloatation that you can get from eating too quickly now this next one is not really that common for most people but i mean obviously for some people it might be common but um being on your period can cause some type of bloating i know for a fact when i get on my period that i'm definitely more bloated than um usual not by a lot but i can really i just know my body and i know when i'm bloated or not so i can kind of tell that my period makes me bloated now there's really nothing you can do to stop that because simply you're on your period it's gonna go away but you can have maybe some green tea that might help with make the bloating go away but that could be something that's making you bloated so keep that into consideration and don't really worry too much about that because you know a week from now at the most it's gonna be gone it's gonna gonna go away and now the last thing that could be making you bloated that is pretty pretty obvious in my opinion is constipation so obviously if you're having a lot of doo-doo stuck in your stomach you're gonna be a little bit more bloated and i know for a fact that if i'm constipated or if i'm holding in a doo-doo then i'm gonna be way bloated way more bloated than if i'm not holding in some doo-doo so if you are struggling with constipation have foods that are higher in fiber that really helps you to like poop it out so um any type of lentils beans potatoes i drink a lot of green tea i found that nuts really help me poop if i'm struggling or if i'm constipated have some almonds or peanuts or peanut butter almond butter that really helps so being constipated can make you bloated which i think is pretty obvious but those are some things that you can do to allow that poop to flow out but those are my what was that six or seven things that i just stated i don't even know but those are the things that could be causing you to be bloated and what you can do to stop being bloated in the future so hopefully that helped you but that is the video if you want to help support me you can like subscribe leave a comment that would allow me to make more videos for you guys and that would allow the algorithm to promote this video for more people to see if you're interesting and in helping some other people out but thank you for watching and wow have a beautiful day